whole wall between I know. us. I can't see you. I'll look at you through the screen. <laughs> Hi. Hey, everybody. Hi. Welcome to Tea Time with Team Epic Reads 2014 edition. What? I can't believe it. I know, right? Cheers. I'll probably keep Cheers. continue writing 2013 for about six months yeah. and then start getting it. Cheers to that awkward time where you always have to scribble out a number whenever you're writing something. Right? Or I uh, guess just type deleting it. <laughs> but still, you get so used to something and then it yeah. changes. <laughs> Damn you, world. Oh, why can't it just be a, I don't know, continuous year? <laughs> it's been two weeks. Two Since weeks. Since we last saw you. <laughs> I'm so, like, I feel not like prepared. I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. It's I a little weird it. not having seen, like be it. with you guys every two weeks, or I every got, week. I got dust off the dust. <laughs> also, I'm wearing a hat, because it's freezing out. It is freezing out, and my hair is so thin that if you put a hat on for, like, five seconds, it refuses to do anything else other than be greasy and flat. <laughs> Damn so. you, Winter. Damn you. Um, if you are joining us for the first time, this is our weekly live video chat where we talk about all things YA and other nerdy things. What? And we, we play sc- with our hedgehog yeah. mascot snarkles. Um, how was your holiday? My holiday was good. Um, Low-key, relaxed, did yeah. some reading. Yeah. I read Shannon Hale's new book, Dangerous. Nice. It was good. It was like the Avengers. Nice. Yeah, in book form. It was pretty cool. Um, what did you read? I Did you take a break from reading? went on a huge reading slump. That happens. Like, my family was really distracting because I love them, and they're a lot of fun. Um, I'm, like, one of those people that, like, just get amped about hanging out with my family. And so, eating. And eating and talking. I talk, talk. So mm-hmm. I didn't do that much reading. And you know I, what? I, I need one of that surging books that brings me back into the new year. I think it is essential for book people or just people in general to take breaks from like the thing that they're yeah. obsessed with like taking a break from reading is good just like well I binge the uh, and binge TV I that's bin- what I did I binge the Girl of Fire and Thorn series oh nice and then, it, and then I you just were like, wanted to savor it and I kind of you're just like, like I can't I can't read anything after it yeah I don't yeah. blame you that series is it does oh, that god, too oh god it's so good although I read that series and then immediately binged Game of Thrones and it was perfect. Yeah. So, but you've already re- watched Game of Thrones, so you're all caught Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. So. I did, I watched a lot of Scandal and I watched I'm also a big movie nerd, so I'm um and I have a lot of friends uh, mm-hmm. that get the screeners, so I've been catching up on all my award season fodder. Uh, if you guys are tuning in, if you have Twitter, you should get on the Twitters and then tweet at us. Use the hashtag tea time or just tweet at Epic Reads. I see a lot of people are tweeting about Margot's new edition. Look at this. Yeah, man. Over the Stripe holidays. Lady. I went to the salon with a box of Frosted Flakes and I was like, <laughs> give me the Tony the Tiger. So it goes, I love it. You're so much cooler than me. It goes all it goes all the way around. All the way around my head. All and then in the back, you can't really see it, but it's like chevroned. It's cool. She's so much. I'm wearing a hat on my head because I don't do anything with my hair. <laughs> well, I don't do anything either, which is why I was like, give me a cool design <laughs> so I don't actually have to do anything and people be mesmerized. Ooh. So, do you just go up to people like... <laughs> I have had people in Brooklyn come up and ask if they can stroke my hair, which is a little weird. They would. But they're like little feathers. Yeah, I like it. Although it's so stripey that they are just tiger stripes. La Tigra. La Tigra. La Tigra. <laughs> just call me La Tigra. Um, uh, what did you guys read over the holidays? Yeah, tell us about your holidays. Did you travel? Did you see family? Did you read lots of things? Oh, I see book shimmies. I hope my parents are watching because I never, I didn't tell them about my hair. Oh, do your parents watch? Uh, I think my mom started watching. So, hi, mom, if you're watching. Hi, Margaret's mom. I want to hear you. Hate, you probably hate my hair. I want to hear your accent. <laughs> Oh, she only has the accent when she's drunk. <laughs> I want to hear your accent. Because <laughs> that means Sally Wood will be drunk, and then she'll be fun. <laughs> Just kidding, Mom, you're fun all the time. Uh, anyway, so what did you guys read? Um, um, people are talking about Brooklyn and Pet and Puppies. Uh, hell yeah. Author Madison, is that actual hair? It is actual hair. It's actual hair. It is actual hair. I... I prove it. It, it is it is real. It is not extensions or just clip-ins. Harley James says, you guys, um, I finally read Defiance and OMG, why have I waited so long? We told you. Told you. Logan Seriously. and Rachel, <sighs> ship. I ship it. Deception is out. Get it. <laughs> the, and there is, um, I think there's like a little prequel novella or something, Outcast. I don't know if it's out now or if it's coming out. I have not read this. There's something, I saw it in our catalog the other day, I was like, what is this? 
<laughs> um, let's see. Oh, Twain to Teen Book says, I set my hair on fire on Christmas Eve, hence <gasps> new haircut. What? How did that happen? Be safe. <laughs> please be safe. What did that... I want that story. Just tweet it to us, please. <laughs> um, let's see. What Everybody else? loves your hair. Thanks, guys. Guys, what about my hat? <laughs> Aubrey, I love your hat. You need some gloves to go with it. Ooh, okay, so East Coast. Oh, yeah, that vortex. Isn't it the most annoying thing when you're wearing gloves and you're trying to read a book? Oh, and you can't I can't turn the page and you're just like, mm. I'm pretty sure somebody yesterday was judging me on the train. Turn the page. Because I, I have I have I those I have those um like fingerless, but then the mitten covers it. Oh, see? So I do this thing where I just, like, I've got the mitten on, yeah. but then I just pop one finger out. See? And somebody was, like, totally judging me. Wait, so got... you just have, like, the one finger out? For like, the little hook? Yeah, yeah. A little hook. Yeah. See, that's what they need. They should have been gloves that are like these, but then just your, like, glove finger, you can, like, fold it back. Yeah. Just so the glove finger. Turn that page. We should invent those. Little per page turn. I mean, they gloves. have those one that where you can still work your iPhone, but I wonder if they can make them. I need like a grip though. But like the other day of the summer, I was like trying to read this, and I literally I had to use my nose. I was like, I was like, come on, greasy face, help me. Yeah, I <laughs> came, I had a on the platform yesterday the comedy of errors, and I did see somebody just like staring at me while I like. Fling. I also with gloves have panic attack when I'm carrying a bag. <laughs> That I can't get the bag off my wrist. Right. Because the and you're like, and I'm like, and I have a mini panic attack. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to be stuck with this bag on my arm forever. I hate it when, like, you take it off and then you have all the things and you're trying to get it back on. And then you're like, should I use my teeth? No, I just gripped the arm rail on the subway, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Ooh, Bookish Things said she read Allegiant over the holidays. Alexia Reads just tweeted that she's currently reading Cruel Beauty that goes on sale soon. The end of this mm. month. Mm, um, oh, Skylight says all the hat love. There you go. I like your hat. It's cool. It's just blue. Um, Dom Bird says, I'm reading another little piece. Ooh, creepy. Andy Stroop said, Aubrey, you know? I love your hat because I live in the desert and have no excuse to wear one. You're the best. Of course you have oh, an excuse. Just claim that you're a hipster. The sand? The sand? Yeah. The sand hat. I wore, I was, okay, so I'm flo from Florida, and, like, this kind of cold, like, gets into my core, and it mm. doesn't, I don't get warm until I'm indoors for a solid hour, an hour and a half, and we had a meeting right away, and I still have my scarf on and my hat, and people ask, they're like, don't you look really hipstery today? And I'm like, no, I'm just cold. <laughs> <laughs> um... Let's see. Dina Winchester says, I've been reading Splintered. Ooh. Nice. Uh, Shaylin Sherry says, hey, y'all, or have y'all, sorry. Have, have y'all read Leah Sipis' Death Sworn? What am I about to get into? Haven't gotten to that one yet, mm -hmm. so we can't help you. Rose's Book Corner says, I'm reading Dare to Love You. Love it so far. Isn't that one by Katie McGarry? I believe that one has the sexy cover. Sexy. Sexy cover. So... Things have happened while we were gone. Lots of lots things. of things were, uh, uh, lots of words were printed, Whoa. or reprinted in softer versions. Here are the new words. <laughs> um, all of these from uh, Revolution nineteen to the top have been re-released in paperback. Yay! So we have Revolution nineteen, The Mad Men's Daughter. Yes. Unravel Me, Hey Hey, Boundless, The Secret Sisterhood of Heartbreakers, Pivot Point, you want to say the rest? Ooh, yeah, Prophecy, look at that, Everbound, Asunder, <gasps> Rise, oh. Through the Ever Night, The Pig Man, and Never Fall Down. Those are all in paperback, and a lot of series in here, starters or middles, middles. or ends. We've got been a, waiting. We got a, they're a out. first... A middle and an end, right there. There you go. First a middle and an end. Yeah. Um, this is actually what I am picking up today. Um, the Pig Man by Paul Zindel. It's been out for a long time, but they yeah, just re-released the paperback. It was originally published in 1968. Whoa. Um, and they're, Before uh, my times. Yeah, and um, I actually, one of my friend, my bro cool hip Brooklyn friends, this was like one of his favorite books growing up. Really? And I didn't get to read a lot of like uh, um, books when I was young, so I'm going to read it. That's my read this week. There's something in the back. What is this? Uh, an excerpt from the sequel 
The Pigman's Legacy. I didn't know there was a sequel. It's about a, it's about a two teens that befriend um, an older man in their neighborhood. Um, the Pigman. Nice. Okay. So kind of like Tuesdays with maury ish Yeah, I think so. One of those, like, yeah. wise older man youths, youths. youths. gleaning knowledge. Yeah. Like um, it. And it's short, and we were talking about this today, like, to start my engine running for 2014 mm-hmm. is short. I failed short. my Goodreads uh, goal for 2013 I did by five it. books, so I was like, all right, this year I'm going to read some shorties. So, I just finished reading yesterday, last night, Something Like Normal by Trish Dollars, published by Bloomsbury. It's my first, like, new adult-ish book. Yeah. And I really enjoyed it. I'm going through a um, contemporary, or just, like, a realistic fiction, and this is definitely, uh, falls into that category. And then today, I'm going to read Never Fall Down by Patricia McCormick, which is the January Epic Reads Book Club Boom, pick. boom, boom. And nice, uh, short little read. True story. National Book Award finalist. Yeah. It's not an easy topic. It is not. It's <laughs> about um, the Khmer Rouge, uh, like, child soldiers in Cambodia in the 60s, and uh, so it's a tough subject, it's tough read, I've heard it's written, very sad, very, uh, bring out, you know, make sure you bring those use in case of feels tissues, <laughs> use in case of feels, um, but beautifully written, and it seems like one of those stories that I would have been forced to read, but avoided when I was in school, but now that I'm an adult, I will You read. just devour it. <laughs> yes, devour exactly, it. so. Um, what are you guys reading? I guess you guys kind of told us that already, mm-hmm. but if there's any new stuff, and then... If well, you Emma Costa says I've already read nine books in 2014. Whoa! I'm jealous. I wish I had that Here's time. time. Book shimmy. I do too. I also wish I had the ability. Here's my problem. Just speed read. To not fall asleep when I'm laying down mm-hmm. reading. Like I fall asleep. I get like two pages in. My problem is, is I start reading right before bed with the intention of falling asleep, and then I w- stay up way too late, and then have to come into work the next morning and be functional, which is very difficult. Yeah, see, I just, I don't even get like a, I get a half a page in most of the time. <laughs> so, new releases from the last two weeks, we have Fugitive X, which is the sequel to Revolution 19, which is like Terminator in YA book form. So, robots were created by humans, and then, then they turned on their creators and have taken over the world. So Be afraid. Greg, um, Greg Rosenblum, he posted a really that funny video, video really on YouTube, funny. like, writing tips for aspiring writers, and it looks like it's, it's going to be a serious mm-hmm. video, but it's not like the, at all. Like the typical <laughs> kind of author, like, I'm telling you about my things. Right every day. Yeah. No, he's like, you need to get an endorsement from J.K. Rowling. <laughs> yeah. It's That's funny. tip number one. He's funny. It's really dry. Tip number two, be independently be wealthy. Yeah. Or marry a stockbroker. <laughs> um, <laughs> also out, this came out yesterday, No One Else Can Have You by Kathleen Hale. One of Margot and I's probably mm-hmm. favorite things that we have read recently. So weird. So, so bizarre. Funny. So completely oh original. Oh my gosh. Oh my it's gosh. Excellent. You will laugh and laugh and laugh. And you'll also and be, be disturbed. disturbed. <laughs> Yes. Like, you, it's one of those things that, like, this is so bad, I shouldn't be laughing. But I, I am. <laughs> but I am. And Kathleen is one of those authors that's so, like, like quirky and, and unu- she is, like, the embodiment of her story. Yeah. And you, like, are reading this and when you meet Kathleen, we just posted a video, like, where she shares some of her stories so you get to know her a little bit. You're kind of like, I feel like you this s- whole thing happened to you because yeah. it just, you seem like, the type of person that would have weird things happen. She's just to. somebody I watch, right? I'm just like, uh-huh. you're just like, just uh-huh. tell. You're like, tell me some more stories, and you're like freaked out but in- intrigued. At the same She's time. that person that always ended up in like scenarios that I couldn't even imagine in my brain, and then she's like, yeah, that happened to me. <laughs> I'm like, what? I know, right? <laughs> um, uh, but if you like, if you like Fargo, if that's like right up your alley, mm-hmm. get this one. Oh, it looks like our uh, video is having some lag issues, so I'm hoping that this will help. We, it looks like we were on the Wi-Fi, that's why, so mm-hmm. I turned that off. Hopefully that's Not better Wi-Fi. now, sorry. <laughs> um, also out is Ashes to Ashes by mm-hmm. Melissa Walker. Um, this is a ghost story, but mm-hmm. it's not super paranormally. It's more of like a before I fall. Yeah, so like love if I stay. in death and yes, yeah. those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Um, we have Warrior by Ellen O, which is the sequel to Prophecy, which is an excellent Korean high fantasy series. Highly recommended if you like um, Incarnate or, um, oh, the, the mm, it's not coming to me. I can't think of the name, but I will you got tweet it. it. You got it. Uh, 
Cindy Pond. She wrote it. Ugh. Mm. I can picture the cover. Help me, Twitter. Help me. What is it called? Uh, uh, I can't uh, think of it. Uh, oh, God. Um, well, anyway, Korean high fantasy, epicness, awesomeness, fighting, action, badassery. There you go. Uh, the Promise of Amazing. It's a mm-hmm. contemporary romance, um, also known as the cover that makes me feel major feels just by looking at it. Look how cute. So cute. I want the nose touchy thing all the time. So That's cute. just so cute. I love it. I like it because it's like, I also really like her jacket. Yeah, and the sun, everything about it. And he's got elbow patches. I know. Elbow uh, patches. That means he likes to read. He right? wants to be, he wants to live in my pocket. <laughs> And finally, also new is The Book of Love, which is the sequel to The Secret Sisterhood of Heartbreakers. Um, this is These are new covers, and yep. I like them. They are new, and they're they cute. New. And she has been, the author Lynn Weingarten has been um, posting about her favorite 80s movies and favorite like characters that always get dumped. That's fun. It's good stuff. Who's your favorite character that always gets dumped? Uh, mine is... Not a specific character, but an actor who always... John Cusack. No, I was thinking James, James Marsden. Oh! And he's in, like, The Notebook. Like, every movie yeah. he's in, he's always the guy that, like, the Prince Charming that gets dumped for, like, the quirky, unusual guy. Oh. Yeah. He's, he's, he is charming. I, John Cusack. John is, Cusack's is, good. Is, I like him. Dawson. But he's a, I like Dawson. Dawson. <laughs> I started Just from the crowd. Ooh, some of my binge watching has been... Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23. So good. So it's good. so good. I'm so sad that show got canceled. It's so good, y'all. It's on Netflix. Just tangent. <laughs> Whatever. James Vanderbeek is perfection in it if you're a Dawson fan. So we have um, some two fun things for you today. The first is some news for Anna Carey fans. Woo-woo. We got Rise over here. Yes. So she wrote the Eve trilogy, and this is the final book, Rise, and the fans... We're so obsessed with it, and so obsessed with the series and Rise that they begged her, begged Anna for more. And because she's totally awesome like that, yes, she obliged and wrote more. Well done, Anna. Well done. So there is an epilogue to Rise, and we have the secret link to it. <gasps> secret links. Secret links, and we're going to tweet it out right now. Look at this faux freeze. That's really, like, that's really awesome. That's one of my favorite things love about the internet is that it makes it, like, an author can see what fans want and hear their questions and want to know, and they can it's give awesome. it to them. It's awesome. I, it's really, it's almost like fan sourcing. Not like crowdsourcing, but like fan sourcing. If the fans yeah. speak loud enough and the author's awesome enough, like, things happen, like, cool epilogues. So, uh, she wrote that, which is awesome, and we are excited to get more from Anna Carey. Her next book, Blackbird, yeah. comes out in the fall. We don't have a cover for it yet, but hopefully we'll have one soon. Um, and I'm just going to read to you the description of it, um, because it's going to make you want to read it right away. So just, I mean, we need, like, the warning flashing signs. Mm-hmm. Ready? Okay. Okay. You wake up on the subway tracks with no memory how you got there. A train is bearing down on you, and you have no time to get out of the way. What do you do? In a rush, a train passes over you, leaving you unharmed. As you make your way through a completely foreign city, you take stock of what you do know. People are trying to kill you. As you run from a series of assailants, you must untangle the circumstances that got you there, who you are, and what happened to the girl you used to be. But the truth is more disturbing than you ever imagined, and your hunters are getting closer. It's told in second person mm. point of view. So that it's is you. such like a That's interesting so challenge, cool. right? I don't yeah. think I've ever read a book that was told in second person. I don't. I haven't either. That's so. Cool. But it's just like even reading this summary, it's like you like your brain goes there. It's psychologically, you're like, okay, out. okay. And Blackbird, that's a cool name. Oh, yeah. I want to know more. Give over, give over me more. Give over me more. <laughs> So we just tweeted out the link to the uh, Free Rise epilogue, uh, but we will post it up on the Epic Reads blog right after this. So, um, And go to Goodreads and add Blackbird to your shelves. Mm-hmm. And stay so tuned you- for that cover reveal, which will be happening probably in a few weeks. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how much we know about publishing. <laughs> We just read the things. We just tweet. That's pretty much about it. <laughs> um, okay, so, drum roll. Uh, we 
have some big news to share with you that we haven't even hinted at until no. now. Ah, there is a tour. Another tour. In addition to the Pitch Dark tour. Boom. <laughs> we have the Story Crush tour. Oh, ooh, my wrist. Mm, won't go all the way around. There we go. Mm, mm, ah. Story Crush tour, which is happening in March. And... You guys want to know who's going on tour and where we're going? We're going to make you play some games. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to share the books that are going on tour, but you have to guess what books they are. Now, no cheating if you already know. Okay, so yeah, we are going to play little, little games. Little games. Little games, mm -hmm. and then you guys tweet at us yep. and give us your guesses on who. Okay. Who, what books, and what authors you think are going to come on the Story Crush tour? You read this one. Okay, okay. so we're going to read the first sentence from this book. Hold on, let's make sure that they can't see. Okay. Okay, um, Aubrey's going to read the first sentence from this book, and you have to guess to see if you can tell what book this is from. There's no way I was letting her see me cry. I bit my lip and stared at the wall behind her. It was hung with photographs of ballerinas on stage wearing elaborate tutus and leg warmers and cut-off t-shirts draped over the bar. Okay. So think about what we just learned. Ballerinas. Mm hmm It sounds contemporary. Mm, what do you guys think? We can give... We can, oh. You guys are... Everything. What? Everyone's just freaking out about the tour. I know. It, uh, Twitter's having trouble. Uh, Twitter... Like, tours are awesome. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited. Haley Guitardo guessed The Broken Hearted, new. No. She, Amelia Caney, was on the Pitch Dark, Dark tour, tour this fall, so you no. You know that it's a Story Crush tour and not a Pitch Dark tour. Mm -hmm. So, so thank you, oh, Noggin. Blythe Harris tweeted, Maybe One Day by Melissa Cantor. Boom. You would be correct. Yay. This is not the final cover warning you. Well, yes, this the cover looks different. Mm -hmm. um, maybe One Day is about two... Uh, Girls who are best friends. BFFs. They, they are on the track to become prima ballerinas, and then things go way wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and they kind of have to be stronger fringe. 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 <laughs> friends and <laughs> fringe. Fringe. Stronger fringe. Coach, I'll be it. Um, but we're really excited about this book, and we're really excited mm -hmm. uh, about it being a part of the first ever Story Crush Tour. It's technically the second. second. Oh, yeah, the Pretty Little Liars. Yeah, but that was only, like, one tour, tour stop, stop, so yeah. it doesn't count. Uh, this book goes on sale February 18th. And doesn't look like this. And does not look at all like this. <laughs> so everything we've told you is a lie. <laughs> Except about what it's about. All right, so the next book. Okay. The next book, we're going to gonna, we're gonna act out the cover. <laughs> okay? We should, we should go side by side. Okay. If we can. All right. All right. Oh, we should roll in. Okay, ready? Okay, okay, ready? One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> These chairs are too big to, to yeah. act out in. Okay, so that was um, um, us acting out the cover. So what did you learn from that? Margot has great vocals. <laughs> Interpretive dance. She, she made this sound. <laughs> oh, it sounds like... Can you guess the cover? That's what we were acting out. Oh, the cover, cover of this next book. Oh, that's yay! Lisa, Lisa likes, likes books. books. Said the beginning of everything by Robin Schneider. Correct. Boom. 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 <laughs> Boom. Uh, this is a book that came out last year, um, but everybody loves. And has she really been out on a big group tour? She hasn't yet. Robin, you have Robin hasn't been on a big group tour. No. It's her first two. She is so much tour. fun. She's so cute. She's um, like a little tiny pocket. She's and, like tiny. She's a little tiny redhead. You're just like, oh, and you want to live meet in her. my pocket. Trust me, you want to meet her. She's <laughs> a lot of fun. Um, and this book is really funny and uh, just an entertaining read. Just, I mean, from the first pair, like I challenge you One to of read my the first paragraph mm -hmm. or the first chapter, chapter and not just blow through the book. Uh, this book Challenge. features one of my favorite dogs in YA. Huh? There's a very cool dog, a very cool poodle in this. Like a standard poodle. Like a stand. I hate poodles. Shh. Not, it does. Nope. Actually, poodles, when they aren't all like frou froued out, are actually pretty cool. They're a little dumb, but they're cool. I don't like them. Okay. Uh, so we've got two bucks. There's three to go. 
Uh, the next one, your clue, is neither us reading nor us acting out. It is. It, oh, it's a it's a prop. It's an object. An object clue. Of fabrics. This is sent to us by the author of mm -hmm. the book. No, it says channel your brave. So based on this t-shirt and based on channel your brave, what do you think this book is? Mm -hmm. Tweet at us. This is also a long sleeve t-shirt, which, which I is like. Which is baller. excellent for right now. Yes. Long sleeve t-shirts are the best for oh. Jenna Does Books tweeted, Faking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. You Correct. Correct. Um, and if you've watched recently, you know how much we are enamored with Courtney C. Stevens. Like, she's like my spirit guide. Yes. I want her to just, every she morning. She should be a life coach. Yeah, every morning I just want her to send me a little video that tells me that I'm great. Right? <laughs> oh my God. Just so can I can like that leave app? the day. Good morning, Aubrey. You're fantastic. Except imagine me with a cool Kentucky accent, accent. and really like. Just so um, earnest yeah. and believes it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If my video was me, I'd be like, yeah, I'd be getting bed. <laughs> so, Faking Normal uh, goes on sale soon. And there's a chapter sampler that's up on Epic Reads. I will share that link out on the blog wrap-up of this after this. Um, I read Faking Normal a few weeks ago and was surprised by how much it really, like, got inside my heart and soul. Um, mostly because I don't typically read stories about like issues and things like that um and so when I was reading I was really shocked that I was like really well, that was the one, by it. yeah the one that you came in and you were like this is a book that like every teen should be absolutely. reading absolutely right yeah. absolutely yeah. I think every teen should be reading this because every teen at some point will go through something very that's very in hard this world. yeah not necessarily the situations that they go through but something that makes you struggle and yeah. this is a good story for like how do you overcome How do you that? Yeah. yeah. So, Courtney C. Stevens is going on the Story Crush Tour with oh, Robin Schneider, Schneider and Melissa Cantor. Boom. We got two more books to go. Okay. All right. This is a, oh, this is another read. All right. Let me make sure I slide it in on the slide. You All read. Right. I've read a lot. Okay. I'm not a good reader out loud. Oh, I hope nobody can see. No. Oh, oh. kind of. Crap. <laughs> ah! Shh. Okay. Let's go. I've been looking for Sawyer for half a lifetime when I find him standing in front of the Slurpee machine at the 7-Eleven on Federal Highway, gazing through the window at the frozen, neon bright churning like he's expecting the mysteries of the universe to be revealed to him from inside. Name that book. Name, name that, that book. book. I love the name Sawyer. I do too. Such a good name. Um... While you guys are guessing, Matt Crazy just tweeted, I haven't finished Faking Normal yet, but it has really pulled on my heartstrings. I am in love with it. I love you, Matt Crazy. I, know. I was just going to say, we love you, Matt. <laughs> um, oh, K uh, Cassie says, I've met Courtland, who is Courtney, Courtney Stevens, several, several times, and she's awesome. Yay for Faking Normal. All right, so, um, oh, Tween to Teen Books tweeted, How to Love. That would be correct. By Katie Katugno. This went on sale in October? Yes. In the fall. And it has been a lot of people's favorite standalone of 2013. It's been on a lot of lists. This is the book, this book stays on my mind. Mm -hmm. And this is sort of like, I would say it's like almost new adultish because they're older. Yeah. They're like 19. At some point. At, it, some, at some point. It's told in like two timelines, present day and past. Yeah. Um, but we've talked a, a bunch about this book. So we're super excited that Katie's going on tour. It'll be her first tour, too. Yes. Actually, I think it's most of all of these authors' first tours. tours. Boom. Oh. So come out and show them some love. All right. So we have one last book that's going on the Story Crush, Crush Tour. Five. Five is the magic number. The Five holy number. What did I just... Oh, Girl of Five Thorns. Say what? <gasps> Girl of Five Thorns. So it's like... Five is the holy number. They do everything in fives. In Girl of Iron Thorns? Oh, yeah. Oh, they got travel in packs of five. Oh, I forgot about great. that. It's great. Mm. Okay. All right, so for the last book, we are going to act it out. The, because the title? We're really, it's the title, Brad. Okay, hold on. I have to. Prepare. I have a lot of experience Ooh. with this. Okay. okay, ready? And go. <sighs> And scene. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Okay. So Ooh, now it's I'm, hot. Now I'm hot. <laughs> it's hot. So based on that, um, well, lightheaded. Oh, now. there we go. Can fry C A can can C A N fry, can fry says, says Panic by Lauren Oliver. Yes. What's up, Oliver fans? She's going back on to us. Yes, she is. So that's it. These are the five books. Oh wait, watch this coolness. Yeehaw! Oh, uh, transition. Yeah, cool, huh? Uh, so these are the five books that are going on the Story Crush Winter Tour, and the five authors, not just their books. Mm-hmm. You'll and see their faces. Here is where they are headed. We have South Hadley, Massachusetts, on March first at Odyssey Books. Rhinebeck, New York, on March second at Oblong Books. Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania, at some Barnes and Noble. Um, <laughs> Store number 2679. You guys know what that one is. Um, March 3rd. Decanter, Georgia on March... Decatur. Decatur? There's no N. Oh, yeah. On March 4th at the Little Shop of Stories. Oh, that's such a sweet name. And finally, Charleston... Decatur? Decatur. Decatur. God, we suck at pronouncing things. Uh, finally, Charleston, South Carolina <gasps> on March 5th. So this is pretty much like a East Coast, Coast. South yeah. tour. Shout out to Blue Bicycle Books. Uh, we mm-hmm. fell in love with you at Y'all Fest. Mm-hmm. So, will any of you be attending these events? You should. You should definitely yeah. go. You should make the road trip because what I have learned is mm-hmm. uh, book events are fun events. So fun. They're so fun. The only thing that could make book, event, book events more fun is if there is just free pizza at yes. every single one. <laughs> We should, uh, <laughs> we should start a group that just sends pizzas to right? all the book events. So, uh, somebody just said, tweeted, I need to find out what Panic by Lauren Oliver is about. There, you can get the first four, four chapters, chapters yep. on the Delirium Trilogy and Before I Fall Facebook pages. Yeah. It's one of those tabbies, but we'll mm-hmm. also tweet it out. Mm-hmm. We'll include a roundup on the blog post that will include all the dates and locations of the tour and the Rise epilogue and all this good fun stuff. Um, I read this book, and if you are a diehard Lauren Oliver fan... Classic Oliver. Her writing, she just... I mean, this is a book that reminds... Like, I love Delirium, but this is the book that reminds me about how solid of a writer she is. Mm -hmm. Like, so... She's, like, Mm -hmm. really good at setting a mood, setting characters, at just, Mm -hmm. like, making you get it. Mm -hmm. Um... And this one's a lot of fun. It is contemporary, um, but there's um, a game, a high-stakes game that they participate in um, to win money. Like Fear Factor? Like Fear Factor a little bit. Except not gross, probably. Um, No eating of, like, scorpions. And we are going to do fun stuff (laughs) with Lauren Oliver in the coming months. Mm -hmm. Um, Also, we just heard that... um, if we get enough pre-orders of the book, mm-hmm. she will be releasing more exclusive origin contents mm-hmm. of the game. So Panic is a game that is played, that has been played in this town for many years. Yeah, she's written a bunch of like extra stuff for this book. Yeah. Um, and we want to release it. But I gotta pre orders So boom, boom. So boom, to boom. recap, we have all of these books... All of these authors, these beautiful authors, will be going on tour starting March 1st. Yay. 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 That's tour. And that's pretty much like... It's great. It's like right after Pitch Pitch Dark. Dark. Yeah. Which goes down south, too. They're going to New Orleans. So it's like, we're all over the place. We should just always be on tour. Like, there's just always a tour. I wish I didn't have to do my job and just be on on tour tour all the time. That would be so awesome. Um... Okay. Um, Nikki, it's, been, it's been so long since we've done this. I'm like, I don't get how to do this. Uh, Nikki uh, Ash620 said, Did I miss where you all are going on tour? Yes, you did. We but will, it will live on the blog. Go to epicreads.com slash blog in like a half an hour and it'll be up there. Maybe an hour. Iris Jex says, I totally need to panic, read Panic like right now. You can read the first four chapters like right now. Panic's kind of fun because if you forget to say the word like, read while you're tweeting and be like, I totally need, need to, to panic, panic right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. Um, la la la. My mind is melting. I know. 
It's been a while since we've done this. Um, Katie Valis has come to the Midwest. Maybe if you thaw out, Midwest. Midwest. Maybe they'll get a summer tour in the Midwest. That'd be awesome. So um, we are back. We will see you next week, next Wednesday at 3.45 here on Ustream. But then the following week, which is the, er, yeah, yes, the following week. week is the 22nd, which is when we will reveal the winners of the Book Shimmy Awards. <laughs> uh, and that will be over on YouTube. We are going to be moving Tea Time to YouTube Live. Um which if I, we figure out how to do it. If we figure it out, yeah. If we figure out how to use it, it's sort of like a, it's like a combination of uh, Spreecast and Ustream, and it seems a lot easier for people because yeah. everybody knows YouTube and it seems easy to yes. to use. So yes, more info about that will uh, go up on epicreads.com and we'll keep you posted on Twitter yeah. as well. But just uh, book shimmy awards market. Yep. Wear something fancy. You should probably go to our YouTube page at uh, Epic Reads and yeah. subscribe now so you don't ever miss mm -hmm. any of our videos because we're mm -hmm. going to be making more of them. Mm -hmm. More videos coming your way in 2014. Do, do, do. That sounds so, like, commercially. I know. That was, <laughs> we're shamelessly plugging, but please go, please go like our YouTube page because we're going to do fun things for you. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. So we missed you guys. We do. We missed you. We do. We love you. I feel like my brain just turned on. Like, you know when you come back from the holidays and there's like yeah. a slow churn? Like, this Last is the week. moment. <laughs> oh, God. Last week I was just like, how do I do things? Yes. Yeah. And then Monday I came in and I was like, yes, ready to go. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, how do I do work? Yeah. But then at the end of the day on Monday and I was like, oh, I have to come back and do this all over again. I'm not prepared. My body is not ready. But you guys just got me ready. And this giant cup of tea. Now I'm pumped. So yeah, I'm pumped. we will, <laughs> we will see you Next Wednesday, 3.45, here on the Ustreams. Oh, um, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, there will be 10 winners from today's oh, yeah. chat. And each of you will win one of the Dark or er, Story Crush Tour books. We don't know which one, but you will win one of them. To enter to win, all you had to do was tweet with the hashtag so tea time. Y'all are already entered if you already done tweet. If you're just watching, just... Hashtag tea time. <laughs> so we will uh, announce those winners shortly thereafter. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. We love you. I'm going to squeeze them. Squeeze them. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.